everybody. I can't believe it, but I'm welcoming you to day 350 of A Song a Day Keeps the Virus Away. Uh, now, I didn't sing every day in between there, so it's been a good, it's been since April 5th, I believe. No, March 30th, March 30th of 2020. I've been doing this. On Mondays through Fridays, took the summer off last summer and otherwise it's been full speed ahead. Well, so nice to have you here on Martin Luther King Day. So I figured I would sing you this song that I wrote for, um, actually I wrote it for a principal in Kentucky who doesn't know that I wrote this song for him. I went to their school and oh, it was a, such a sad thing. It was a very old school, had not been updated in years. <clears throat> and the only thing that told you that there were children in the building were sports trophies in all the glass cases. There wasn't a piece of artwork or any other notion of a child around at all. And when I went into the, uh, the gym to, to sing, the kids came in and lined up absolutely in straight, straight lines, six feet apart from each line. You'd think they had COVID. And the principal came in and he was in a pale green um, polyester uh, leisure suit and he had a, a crew top, crew, crew cut, flat top haircut and I thought, oh, I bet you he looks like he might have been a coach sometime. Maybe he was in the military or something and uh, turned out I was absolutely right. I, I don't usually stereotype people but I, I have to say he fit the stereotype perfectly and when I asked him uh, what he was doing for, uh, it was a February, and I asked him what he was doing for Black History Month in his school, he said, and this is a quote, we ain't got no black kids here, so we don't have to do anything. So, I wrote him this song. Actually, it's for the children there. And now this song is in uh, one of the national music textbooks. What can one little person do? What can one little me or you do? What can one little person do to help this world go round? One can help another one, and together we can get the job done. What can one little person do to help this world? Harriet Tubman was alone on the dark and road to freedom, but she couldn't leave her people far behind.
coming out today on Martin Luther King Day. Um, go do some good work out there, even if it's just saying hi to your neighbor, or bringing them some food or something. Um, it's, a, it's a good day and a good day to celebrate. So, uh, I, oh, I want to also invite you to write more verses for that song. Go ahead, add your own verses for people that have changed your life or your world. Um, that'd be great. People have been doing it for years now. I keep getting them in the mail from little kids and stuff. It's nice. Um, and then the other thing I want to remind you is Friday is our Quiet Corner Song Swap. Just go to the Facebook page of Sing Quiet Corner Song Swap and you will find the link for Friday's Song Swap. And Saturday is Howie's 30th Annual Food Bank Benefit for the Access Agency in Willimantic. And for every dollar that you spend, $10 of food gets bought at the state food bank. And so last year when we went uh, on, online to do it, we raised actually over $9,000 and we'd like to raise over 10 this year. So come join us and give what you can. Tickets are $20 ostensibly, but you can give as much as you want. And there are 20 seats for those lucky few who live right here in Northeastern Connecticut or in the environs. Uh, there are 20 seats at the Vanilla Bean. You must be vaccinated and um, show your vaccination card to get one of those 20 seats. You can pick up your tickets at the Vanilla Bean or call them to hold a ticket for you. So that's all my news and I will see you after day 350. Whoa. So see you tomorrow, day 351. Bye.